Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another morning ramble. Uh, my little dog is joining me here just off camera. Hey, Peppy, say hi. You gonna say hi? Yes. Um, so, this, this, this morning I wanted to talk about something that is just a, it came up in a coaching session a couple of days ago. I was sitting with a client, and we were talking about boredom. And one of the things that I shared was that when my kids were, were younger, we used to implement something we called unplugged time, which meant that for a certain part of each day, they, they needed to be unplugged, which means they, they needed to not be on any device that plugged in. And it was hell <laughs> for the first hour, because for the first hour, they would they go, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, and, and wind up and wind up and wind up. So they went from bored to like crazy. Now, if we could weather that, if, if, if my wife and I could, could not cave, those days were the best days. Because once they'd ramped up, if, the, if, if it didn't get traction, they'd settle back down and they'd go from bored to, to oh, I guess I'll go play. And then they would start to engage with games. They'd start to engage with each other. They'd start to be creative. They'd start to be in flow. And, and really cool things would happen. And, and, and some of my nicest memories of connecting, of just being really, there's a phrase I've always loved in a bunch of novels, a, a companionable silence, of, of just being with the kids, sometimes engaged in doing, but sometimes just being together came from those moments where we were willing to, to go beyond boredom. And so when I was talking to my client, I shared with her that one of the best explanations of boredom I've ever heard came from a colleague of mine, Kathy Casey. And she said, boredom is when your thinking is going faster than the speed of life. So when, when, when your thinking is all, um, is, is just going faster than life is going, the feeling's like, oh God, this is so boring what's going on around me because my head is going so quickly. And then sort of like the kids, if, if your head goes even faster, if your thinking gets even faster, we start to feel really anxious. That's the feeling of a busy, busy mind. But then if our thinking slows down to the speed of life, that's flow. We're, we're having just in time thinking where the thoughts in our head are responsive to what's going on around us and, and we're in a sort of a creative flow. And then those moments where our thinking slows down even more, those are the moments where we experience peace of mind, where we experience real presence and connection with others and where sometimes we experience bliss. And the traditional way of making that journey from boredom to anxiety. It doesn't always have to go that way. It can just go from boredom <laughs> to flow to bliss. But often it goes from boredom to anxiety to boredom to flow to bliss. Meditation has been the traditional way of getting there. But for me, there's something about just knowing that a mind at rest feels amazing that when we're not caught up in our thinking, when we're not racing ahead, the sense of well-being that bubbles up in us is the very thing that we're often racing ahead to try and find or, or to try and avoid it being taken away from us, as if anything outside of us could take away our peace of mind. And that's really sort of my little point for today is the far side of boredom, if you rev up to escape boredom, the far side of boredom will eventually become anxiety, even if it starts out as excitement. But if you allow the far side of boredom to be a settling, to be a quieting of the mind, then you'll experience more and more flow. And in those moments where you go even beyond flow, you'll experience peace of mind and ultimately bliss.
So if you have any thoughts on this, please share them in the comment section below. I'd like to thank my co-pilot for today. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.